Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Me and Liam are obviously riding in the truck. There's a reason. I've been on Marketplace. You know what that means. I found a deal. I found a deal on a 2016 Can-Am Renegade 1000. That's what the guy says. It's got a rad relocate, bumper, all that, rear rack, uh, BKTs, rims, exhaust. It says it runs. Uh, just won't go into high or low. So, we're gonna go pick this sucker up possibly as long as everything else looks good on it and get it back over to shop and uh, check this bad boy out and see what we got. Uh, if you'll let me film, I'll film a little bit while I'm over there while I'm checking it out. So, uh, I'll check back in a second. So, crazy, what a small world. I've been here before to work on a bus for Liam's bus driver who lives down the street from us, Miss Debbie. So I've been to this barn over here before. And uh, so I might even know this guy, that'd be great. I mean, I might even get it for a little bit less. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right guys, so we are back over here at the shop. I was not able to really film while I was over there. We kind of had to like check it out quick and go over everything and then load it up and I had to skedaddle but we're back at the shop and it is a couple days later just so you know but anyway i got her sitting over here check this out y'all let me know in the comments what you think 2016 can-am renegade 1000 xmr chilling here at the shop this is gonna be a build for us down the road guys or soon so yeah put in the comments what you want to see us do with her yeah here she is rjwc exhaust i'll go over it with you no leaks on the diffs good boots are good for the axles it does need some wheel bearings from what i can tell when i shake it around a little bit i did go ahead and take the belt off there is a transmission issue so i think we're gonna have to rip the tranny at it the whole motor transmission get all that out and fix that transmission along with the maverick over there's transmission probably do those at the same time we'll see this wheel wheel bearings like i said it's got a cobra axle i don't know what they were thinking here bro anyway i might have to fix that get that out of there uh like i said uh no leaks the engine does run uh but it has a leaky valve cover on that side on the rear cylinder so it's going to end up needing some aluminum ones and they eliminated the thermostat on this sucker for some reason yeah we'll have to definitely go through all these connections radiator all that it has a programmer on it rjwc it's behind here here's the, the stuff on it 1000 xmr guys yeah buddy anyway so this is what she looks like she does run let me show you Ugh. of oil that come out of the tube when i unplugged it there and there was some nasty dirty sand and stuff up in the clean side i noticed it had mud in there when i took that out to check it out uh so it doesn't look like any water or anything got on the clean side of the air box or any mud or anything like that like i said they it seems like it went on its side or something like that and it's now causing issues i guess i don't know so if i was to hit the gas it wants to just die out let me show you Watch. maybe not yeah there it goes it stumbles yeah it wants to die out so it's obviously got something going on with either the fuel pump something something fuel related more than likely so i'll have to go through this entire thing so we're gonna strip it all the way down we're gonna fix the racks up with some nice rhino line make this all pretty 
We're gonna go through all the cooling system and get all this riffraff out of here, make it look nice. And yeah, I'm gonna take y'all on the journey with me as I do it. So I will uh, definitely film all that for y'all and we'll make a series out of this build. This will be a cool bike and we'll add it to the the can-am collection guys we got the 800 which is was a xmr now it's a xt and then we have the 1000 which was a xt now xmr short wheelbase back there and then we'll add the renegade to that might have to just get rid of the 800 at some point uh if i have too many can-ams but until then it can stay around and we'll use it when we need it but yeah guys y'all let me know in the comments what you think of the marketplace buy i can't stand getting on marketplace because every time i swear i find some kind of great deal and whatnot and, and I, on this build we'll actually go through the numbers so what we pay like i like that two vintage guy uh his channel he does great stuff and we'll kind of try to do something similar to how he does his videos and we'll do a whole build process and see how much it's going to cost us to fix this renegade back up and get it perfect and uh we'll see what we're in it at the end we're right now in it three thousand for purchasing it and we will go from there so hopefully it doesn't need a whole hell of a lot of parts but uh if it does i'm the can-am guy you see that shirt can and parts guy he throws me some shirts when i order from him i need some more shirts these are wearing out might be calling them so uh anyways like i said y'all let me know in the comments what you think of the upcoming renegade build and uh do y'all have problems whenever you go a marketplace where you can't just like not buy something let me know but anyway till next time bro y'all take it easy and please hit that like and subscribe and bell for notifications i'll see y'all in the next video and before I forget, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Y'all keep kicking ass and taking names and doing what you do. Hopefully y'all are having a great day and uh, doing something you want to do for change. I know that's hard to do when you're a dad sometimes, but it's important to do that here and there. But guys, y'all keep taking care of those kids and uh, y'all take it easy and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.